Outgoing governor, Pat McCrory, secretly tried to get health insurance for life. So hypocritical. And we have live reaction footage from my wife who has not yet seen the footage of the North Carolina high school girl that got slammed by a cop. Let's get into it. What's good, YouTube? It's the all-knowing, all-loving, all-feeling, all-seeing, all-powerful, just damn all everything, sexy as hell host and the 2017 rated R YouTube superstar. Joining me in the sexy as hell hot seat today, I have my wife. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Crystal Tyson, married to this guy. She's a doctor, by the way, for you ragamuffins that always want to complain about our professionalism. You know who you are, you trolls. So what are we talking about today, ladies and gentlemen? North Carolina is just in the news for a litany of crazy things. In case you were sleeping, and you should have been sleeping, you should have been sleeping and eating, doing nothing but chilling over the holiday season. Our governor that got fired almost got health insurance for life from the state legislature. Someone who was fired. And I'm talking about in a state that voted for Donald Trump at the top of the ticket and got rid of Pat McCroy, our state Congress wanted to give this man health insurance. Honey, read the headlines. So the News and Observer reported on Christmas Day that legislation drafted but not enacted at a recent surprise special session would have kept outgoing Governor Pat McCrory on the state health plan after he left office, meaning he would have received free health coverage for life. The health care provision would have also made any outgoing Council of State member eligible for free health insurance after serving at least half a term in office, according to the News and Observer. <laughs> Lord have What the elf, man? Where do we begin with this topic? Where do we? Look? First of all, let's just say that this household typically leans libertarian. We lean libertarian, but then we lean to the left on most issues. So, what we want to do, and one of our goals in this show, is to draw a light on hypocrisies on both sides of the aisle Republican, Democrat, wherever it's at. And we want you all to be empowered to understand what is going on with every level of government, state, local, federal, and understand that they are all chasing money. If you want to know what is the truth behind what they say and what they do, it's chasing money. What does that have to do with this? This is completely fucking hypocritical. Come, I'm so mad with them, I can't even begin to... Let's just start with this. Obama Healthcare was passed about eight years ago. And many states was taking the, um, it wasn't a loan, but they was passing out money to different states from the Obama health care. Our state said no. Honey, do you remember that thing we went to on the House of Congress? It was a bunch of us medical folks, me, you, some of your colleagues, lots of medical folks, mm -hmm. to lobby to our state Congress to get this extra money from the Obama health care. And it wasn't just Democrats. It was Democrats, Republicans, Libertarians, everybody that was concerned about the health of North Carolina. What did these clowns say to that? No. No. <laughs> they said no to the people, but about to give this loser who's leaving office health care? Hypocritical. What do you think about that? Oh, it, it must be nice. I, I would love to, I can't, I would love to work a job and leave that job and have health care for life. I can't fathom like the rationale behind it. He served one term. I, the, the argument is that, you know, they were elected to office. They left their, in a sense, they left their positions in society to work and serve the people. And in doing that, you kind of left your money behind. You left your whatever profession you had going behind to serve the, the, the citizens people. of North Carolina. And so you should be in a sense, compensated some way when you return back to the quote unquote private sector. But seeing that we're in such a, 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 a crunch when in terms of money, um, supposedly we have to say, you know, save our resources and, and spend our resources wisely. It doesn't make sense that you have all these people after they leave office. They're no longer serving the, the people mm -mm. to continue to 
take resources that we need for other things in a sense. I mean, just straight hypocritical. It's like, we're going to repeal Obamacare and you pour doubt upon people ain't going to have shit. But I need my health insurance because my family is more important than yours. And a point you said about um, what's the rationale, I got that for you. I got excerpts. Here, read that, honey, on the sexy as hell jumbotron. Read what they were saying. Let's see. The provision did not end up in a public filed bill. Thank but God. the provision was discussed in closed door Republican caucus, caucus meetings last week before it was dropped for one of the bills that swept through the legislature and reduced Cooper's authority over appointments. Mm -hmm. There was a great deal of empathy for McCrory. He gave it all he could, says Rep. Leo Daughtry of Smithfield, a Republican. People ought to help him as much as we could. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Keep, keep going. Oh, God. Daughtry and other legislators said the proposal didn't advance far. House Speaker Tim Moore said there were too many other issues under consideration to spend much time working on the provision that would have helped McCrory, a one term Republican. With all the other stuff we've been dealing with that took so little bandwidth, Moore said. I mean, it was just a conversation about this is the idea, here's the reason, and the cost was just very minimal. Very minimal. Hmm. Yeah. Health care yeah. for you and your dependents. Oh yeah. What? What if this? Very minimal. For what if this fool? What if he gets cancer? His family get cancer, and they got to pay for that. God, we hope that don't happen. But legitimately, being real, if something tragic happened to everybody in his family, they got to pay that for years to come. That's millions. But you said no to the poor folks and folks who don't have means and resources. You said no to them, right? But you're gonna give these folks. Keep going. Moore said the intention wasn't to single out McCory, but to extend insurance coverage to council of state members, noting that general assembly members also qualify for insurance. And there has long been interest in extending that benefit to those elected department heads. <laughs> to end this segment, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> first things first, they always claim when they drop their little media lines and all that, that the backbone of our society is small business. The Affordable Care Act help entrepreneurs in small business. How does this help an entrepreneur? If anything, after they get out of office, we shouldn't be paying for nothing post their turn, period. Period, that is money that could be going to the backbone of society. And those folks who have less means, it just, it, it boils my skin that people can't see through this facade, ladies and gentlemen. If you really are about the business of helping the backbone of society, quit paying for these guys when they get out of office. Let them go back into the American um, private sector that they love to defend so much. Any closing words on this subject, honey? It just still blows my mind. It still yeah. blows my mind. It, it, it's nuts. And ladies and gentlemen, again, no matter what political persuasion you value for, Chase the money if you want to know what the real deal is. All right, now we're moving on to a reaction video. Some of y'all already know about this young lady in Roseville, North Carolina that was slammed by a cop. My wife has never seen the reaction video, so we're going to take a look at it. All right, whoa. Talk about H Hogan. No, that's Scott Steiner. That's, that's a suplex. A superplex, and then he drag her by the arm. What the? Fuck? That's, that's well, honey, what did you think? It's too small of a clip to to actually comment on. It, honestly, true. I don't know what was happening before. What happened? That's smart. Leading up to it. So, so I just saw a girl get slammed, and I don't know what the context was. And so, well, this was this is what a lot of people in certain movements are saying. No matter what the context was, this is a high school student officer who has been put on administrative leave since this video hit like on Monday. People are saying that under no circumstance should a girl be slammed in that manner. How do you feel about that? I mean, I agree, but it's still, I don't know. It's, it, it's too short of a clip to comment Now, you know some people cussing you out saying you're a Republican. Because that, that's exactly what they were saying Republican knew. I don't have all the footage. I need to see more data. So, let's say that she punched the cop. Mm -hmm. Let's say that she just went and lambasted him right in the face. 
is okay for him to then body slam her? It's too small of a context to see. Oh, so, so that's what you gonna say. You know, y'all know I love women. I uh, support feminine causes. And I'm almost on the verge of saying, I don't think there's any situation short of that, her pulling a gun or having a knife and running up on the cop that he should lambaste at her and slammed in that manner. So I'll ride with my wife on, we need to know more details. Yeah, because it was hard to see where was she standing? Was she in a chair? What was she? It was the girl in the pink. But was she in the chair? It was hard to see. No, no, no. Like she was just, what was going she on. was standing there. You want to see a replay? Yeah, please. We're going to do a replay because she needs to see it again. In the middle of the Live slam. footage. All right. That's the girl with the, yep. She was, just got slammed. All you can see is her getting slammed. You can't see anything else. Bam. Good Lord. And she is out like a piece of ice in summertime. Yeah. So. Honestly, it's hard to, to comment on because when it, the clips start, she's already in his arms. And True. so. My, my stance <laughs> is if this was my daughter, unless she pulled a gun, a knife, a sword, or something crazy on that cop. No circumstance do I want to see her get slammed like that. This is a bigger man. He could just grab her by the arm, push her on the ground. I don't see, other than what I just said, any other circumstance for him to have to slam that girl like he's Rick Stein or Scott Stein. This ain't WWE. Or did he have to slam her? It looked like she was small enough and was just kind of bear hugger. And that's that, that, kind of that, did, That's my but... argument. That's all I'm saying. I don't see, short of her threatening his life with weapons. I don't see any situation where he's got to suplex this girl. It was That's all a, I'm saying. A bad clip, so I don't. So hey, can't I, comment. Sorry. I guess. Guess what? If she see me naked somewhere and it look like I'm having sex, and we got a clip like that, we could say bad clip, and I'm absorbed of all of it. Mm -hmm. You, you can go with that if you want to. You can rock okay, that. Okay, we're getting out of here. That's gonna do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself that life game. If you really want to know what's going on with politics, if you want to take your level of understanding with politics to the next level, chase the money. No matter what they say, no matter how many little sad platitudes they give you about the people, blah, 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 understand where, what's the bottom line financially for whatever party is saying it. And until the next Sexy as Hell video, we'll see you guys.